As the story continues to unfold here in Milwaukee, it's also garnering national attention. Shadi Robinson's mother, Sheena Scarborough, spoke with Nancy Grace on her podcast. Jenna Ray joins us live in studio with what she had to say there. Jenna. Steve, I did speak with Sheena this morning, but she says she's just not ready to talk with us yet following today's again disturbing discovery. But during her emotional interview with Nancy Grace, Sheena continues to call for justice for her daughter. This is traumatizing, Nancy. I never expected this to pull up on my front door. An unimaginable couple of weeks for Shawnee Robinson's mother, Sheena Scarborough. This isn't normal. This is a 2024 Jeffrey Dahmer. A comparison many are making as Shawnee's body parts keep turning up across Milwaukee County. The last time I spoke to my daughter was on Easter Sunday, okay? We seen her. She came by my parents' home. We spent the Sunday together. The next day on April 1st is when Sade was first reported missing. It's also the night we now know she was killed. Sade was a beautiful soul. She was an amazing girl. I couldn't have asked for any better daughter. There was things my daughter did that many adults were not even able to accomplish in their lifetimes. Sade was set to graduate with her associate's degree next month. This has caused so much emotional effect to my family, her, her, my parents who love my baby so much, her grandparents, her uncles, her aunties, the community. Everyone has pulled up. This has affected many people in Milwaukee. Over the last several weeks, friends and family of Sade have spent countless hours searching for her body to give her the proper burial she deserves. They messed with the wrong family. We're going to call all of them out and we're going to speak for the whole community because I'm not about to sit down and I'm not about to sit still on this one. It's justice for Sade, Nancy. It's justice. Justice for Sade. That phrase echoing across our community as friends, family and volunteers continue their search and can seriously refuse to give up. It's a story that we're going to continue following, Steve. You were out there at the beach today as well as people were searching. What was it like to see people there with rakes and sticks just poking at the sand on their own? trying to turn up some clues. I think it's just emotional for everyone. Even being at the scene myself, you can feel the emotion. You can feel the dedication of the people searching. Again, people who didn't even know Sade are coming out. They're helping this family. They're helping the family's friends all to make sure that she is brought back together as a whole. And you can really just feel the entire Milwaukee community coming together for that. Yeah, that family, at least that bit of peace. Yeah. Jenna, thank you so much. Prosecutors charged Maxwell Anderson with three felonies in Shadé Robinson's death. They also laid out a timeline and details for those charges. You can see it all by scanning that QR code on your screen. It'll link you to this story at TMJ4.com.